The conch shell is one of those items that fits into the category of things you might already have in your house. Now, most people don't have a conch shell because they wanted to have an instrument. The conch shell is one of those things that people who have maybe gone on a tropical vacation might have brought home simply because of the beauty of the shell. And so this particular shell fits into that category. So this shell is from my mother-in-law's bathroom. And a long time ago when I first came up here to visit and meet them, um, way before I was even married, I went to her bathroom and I found this thing and I got so excited. She had it because she had this sort of seashell decoration theme going on and she had no idea that you could play it and I think that it was sort of one of our first impressions and I think she thought it was kind of crazy. Anyway, she gave it to me um, and so she bought it and she had it simply because it's, it's very beautiful. These shells are just beautiful in their own right. Um, and so a lot of you might already have one of these in your house if you've ever gone on a vacation as a family to maybe Cuba or Mexico. It's a popular thing to find in, in gift shops. My only other shell I bought specifically to use as an instrument. Now when you're looking for one as an instrument, um, and you're gonna see why when I play them, you want one, see how this one has kind of not a lot of space to put a hand, it's sort of skinnier. Those make worse instruments. Um, beautiful, but not as musical. Whereas ones like this that have kind of a, a larger opening, they're gonna give you more notes to play. Now unfortunately neither one of my conch shells are very good musically um, and as I move to the piano and sort of show you um, what I mean by the range of the shell um, you'll kind of see that. So I have two great colleagues out there. Um, my friend Allison Zykowski actually just won a conch shell blowing competition um, down in Florida and she does amazing things. She has a whole collection of shells and she's taken the time to go shopping and find shells that give her lots of different note ranges, um, as well as Nick LaRiviere. Um, he does amazing jazz things with conch shells. Um, I'll put links to their videos in the description box down below. They are amazing musicians. Um, but my little video today is going to more focus on just how to make a sound out of these, how to play them, and how to go about figuring out what you can do with the shell that you have. Now, before we get too much into me telling you how to play this, I think we really should listen to at least one expert playing it. So I'm going to share you the short clip of my friend Allison um, playing a piece that helped her win that competition I was talking about earlier. Thanks, Allison. Let's learn how to play the conch. So first things first, um, how do we play these? So it's the same thing as a trumpet. And in fact, this instrument um, became an instrument for the same purposes as trumpets did in other parts of the world. Um, I believe it was fishermen, you know, inside the shell is an animal, um, the conch. Um, that's the actual animal that lives in this. And in the Caribbean, it's a staple part of their diet, conch meat. And so fishermen were probably taking their knives, you know, scooping it out to eat, um, nick the shell, pour it out in the ocean. They realized that if you take this and blow into it, you can get a sound. How do you blow? Well, what you do is you take a deep breath, put your lips really close together, and blow really hard.
Now, just like on trumpets, you can change the pitch of notes a bit by just your face, like how loose or tight your lips are, you can get different notes. And you can put that together to make a song. <sighs> but not as exciting right so on the conch what you do is you put your hand in and the lower you go you can get different notes Well, step one is figure out how to blow. And so if you have a seashell, I encourage you to hit pause and just simply figure out how to blow. All right, so if you're back with me, you figured out how to make a sound. The next step is to figure out what notes your shell actually has. Now, this particular shell, its fundamental pitch is a concert F. So if I'm not doing anything with my hands, I'm going to get an F. If I blow really tight with my lips, I will get the octave up higher, the high F. So. For those of you that can read music, that's the F that's on the first space of the treble clef that this shell produces on its own. And so I have a range from the F, the E natural, E flat, the D, and the D flat. So that's only one, two, three, four, five different notes. But I do have a major third in there, D flat, E flat, F. So that would allow me to play a simple melody um, in D flat major. So hot cross buns in D flat major would be F, E flat, D flat, F, E flat, D flat, D flat, D flat, D flat, D flat, E flat, E flat, E flat, E flat, F, E flat, D flat. And now we'll demonstrate hot cross buns on the seashell. to use the notes D flat, E flat, or F if I wanted to have some range. Um, I could add in some accidentals and I could go F, E natural, F, D flat. And I can make kind of a bluesy, jazzy sort of thing and I could kind of jam around that way. versatile 
it is pitched in the key of C. And so um, it would be the C, like middle C. So the top of the bass clef or right at the bottom of the treble clef. And I also have a B natural, a B flat, and an A I can get with using just my hands. Now, so that's only a range of a minor third. So one, two, three, four notes less. So there's less that I can do, but I could create perhaps a minor melody. So A, B natural, C, B, A. So I could do kind of like the Mahler, um, you know, the evil Frere Jacques kind of theme, um, it's famous classical music song. So A, B, C, B, A. A, B, C, B, A. And I could create kind of a haunting melody with it. So here's the C. So the C is the note you get by just blowing. <laughs> Shoving my hand all the way, I can get the A. And so I could make a little bit of a haunting melody with those notes. instruction manual and every shell is unique so the steps to making music with a shell are number one you have to figure out how to blow and make the sound number two finding out what the fundamental pitch is using a piano um, when you just blow it straight and number three figuring out when you put your hand in how many different notes you can put now um, this is where shopping with someone to buy a shell is hilarious. Uh, before I end my video, I'm just gonna share a little story with you. Um, it was not when I purchased this shell, but it was the trip after I purchased this shell. And I was with my girlfriend, Alison Zykowski. She's the one I mentioned earlier. And again, I have links to her videos in the description box below. Um, she just won um, the world competition for conch shell blowing, so she's pretty good at this. Um, but when she was just starting out, we're shopping, for seashells and so we're backpacking through Mexico and we've rented bikes so we're off the beaten path we are in the part that isn't touristy and the people there only speak Spanish and we were trying to speak Spanish we have our guidebook but I mean our vocabulary is still quite limited right and so we're there and we're trying all these seashells and we're talking to each other and we're referencing pitch and what we're trying to do is we're trying to find a shell that has a different fundamental pitch than one that she already has and a shell that has quite a good range. So like you kind of saw, this shell had much more opportunities for musical um, exploration than this shell simply because you can get more notes. So what we're doing is we're playing all these different shells and we're looking to find, you know, the ones that have the most notes. And then we're also playing them and we're pulling out the shell that she's already got in her bag. And we're like checking with our ears to see if it's different notes and trying to come up with creative things to do. Anyways, these poor Mexicans who are dirt poor, um, I mean, like this is their living and they just... They, they, they don't understand what we're doing. And so they keep coming up to us with more and more beautiful shells. And they think that we're just like maybe bartering. And so they kept saying things like, oh, es muy caro, uh, ochento pesos. <laughs> like, and then they're like, siete pesos or whatever. Um, and then they're like lowering the price and like polishing shells to, to try and get us to buy them. And they don't understand because for example, actually, um, this particular shell of mine, the one that's actually better, it has a minor imperfection. I don't even know if you can see that on the camera. Um, and so, yeah, like for our purposes, beautiful wasn't necessarily better. And so like they were bringing us like these huge, beautiful shells that were just like gorgeous, but they were kind of maybe more like this one, um, where they were just kind of small and they didn't have a huge dynamic range. So we were like, I don't know. No, thank you. Uh, <laughs> and, 
anyways, like these poor people, we, we finally, we, we bought like a couple shells, I believe. Um, we definitely did buy from them. Um, but like they must, those poor, poor Mexicans like must have when we left been like so confused about these crazy tourists. And so that's my story of the day. This is how you can play the conch shell. Like I said, I'm not the master. I don't really even have the tools to be that great of a master, but, um, like I said, my friends, Alison Zykowski and Nick LaRiviere, they've really done some amazing things. Um, also a person that's amazing. I have no personal connection, but Steve Ture, he's a famous trombone player and he does like crazy stuff. Um, one of the playlists I'm going to put in onto my YouTube channel is Conch Shell. Um, and I highly recommend you listen through those um, because yeah, it's a fun instrument. And so if you have one at home, explore send me a video of you playing it um if you have it below click subscribe and then you'll be notified of all my future uploads thank you for hanging out with me during this uh period of isolation and happy conking